Good morning, guys and girls. It's far too early, but we are traveling business class A380 on Emirates to San Francisco. Let's go. So one of the benefits of flying business class with Emirates are the chauffeur transport that can be arranged on both ends. And I took advantage of that going from Abu Dhabi to Dubai, which was about an hour and a half's journey. All right, so I'm all checked in. Uh, one of the highlights of traveling with Emirates business class is obviously the business class lounge here in Dubai. It is absolutely enormous when you compare it with other lounges across the world. So let's take you in for a closer look. The Emirates Lounge is incredible. Not only do you get these wonderful spaced out areas, so if you want to be isolated or if you want to be close to the food, you've got those options there. And talking of food, the food here is incredible. Not only do you get like a varied a range of different cuisines that you can try, but um, the food is fresh and served with great customer service. This is something just generally overall the customer service in Dubai is incredible the cleanliness is incredible and you notice that when you start traveling outside of Dubai and using additional lounges that's when you start really really appreciating the Emirates lounge another thing is in this space here you've got places for kids uh, you've got nice clean bathrooms you've even got a shower room and a spa as well okay I get a little nervous when I'm flying so I'm gonna have something light to eat before I eat on the plane Right, enough of the lounge, it's time to get on board. So one benefit of flying on the A380s is what I feel a better designed cabin, especially for business class. On this plane, you get this staggered seating arrangement. So just be careful when selecting your seat if you want more isolated chair. But as you can see, I got a nice window seat with excellent space, though some might find that mahogany looking trim a little too much. And Emirates included this nice amenity kit, which varies for both males and females. There's a nice small mini bar on the side of your chair for drinks and a comfortable headset. Oh, and plenty of feet space for me before we take off. Right, as far as food is concerned, smash that like button if you enjoy onboard dining. So you get a menu where you pre-select your choices and that's different from other airlines that have on-demand dining. I had a choice of breakfast which came with a nice warm croissant and some fresh fruit. And for lunch a couple of hours later, I got a mixed meze starters with grilled meats for the mains. With the exception of the hard Arabic bread, it was actually well flavored and tasty. And to top it off, a chocolate ganache with orange syrup all while enjoying one of the best in-flight entertainment systems on an airline. Great selection here as always. So before I get some sleep on this 16 hour flight, yes, 16 hours, I went to the bathroom, which isn't as spacious as the first class ones, nor do you get that shower facilities, but it's clean and it has this handy cover seat when changing into your pajamas. So a long flight like this needs a comfortable sleeping experience and the staff were kind enough to put an extra mattress on top of the seat, which is actually normal, uh, but it went from being comfortable to ultra comfortable. And I love the small touches like these fun to play with blinds and that starry ceiling that you'd find in one of those Rolls Royce cars. The seats also roll down all the way to a flat bed experience with plenty of space to just sleep off the long flight.
So it's not long before we land in San Francisco and this journey has been really, really nice and enjoyable. I managed to get plenty of sleep, plenty of dining, socializing as well. One of the things that I do want to mention is on the A380s, there is a space at the back of the business class lounge area, which is actually reminiscent of those olden day kind of images that we see of flying in the air. So there's an area where there's a bar, there's some seating areas, but it's a great place to socialize as well. What I will say is that if you are planning on traveling business class, I think the best experience for the business class currently is with the A380s. And thankfully Emirates have returned those uh, airplanes to service. So the business class experience on the A380 is much better, I would say, from my own experiences than the business class experiences on some of the older jets. Something to be aware of when you're working.